so many developers learning the wrong programming languages. And the result of that is that they just struggle to find jobs, struggle to make a lot of money per hour. And I think there's nothing more ridiculous than learning web development for like three months, six months, a year, and end up making about the same amount of money that you would make working at Walmart. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you what are the top five programming languages that you should learn as a web developer to make sure it's gonna be easy for you to find jobs and make sure you're gonna be able to make more money than if you were working at fucking Walmart. So here's the top five programming languages you should learn. Number five, Python. Python is great. You can use it for a lot of ways when it comes to web development. The really beautiful thing about Python is there's a lot of opportunities for you to find jobs uh, for beginners on Upwork. So if you want to be able to work from home, do Upwork could be a really good option. Uh, it's not the best option out there, but there's a lot of opportunity for Python. It typically pays a little bit more per hour than other programming languages. So it's one of the best options. Number four, JavaScript is one of the most in-demand programming languages right now. Actually, one of the CEOs of a big tech company said that JavaScript is required in like a third of all the development jobs, all the programming jobs on sites like indeed.com. It is so in demand right now. And the problem is like, it's not like Java where every fucking uh, college teaches Java. So there's a ton of Java developers out there. JavaScript, there's actually a ton of jobs, ton of demand. If you learn it, whether it's for web development or it's for any other type of development, pretty much you're gonna be able to find jobs. And if you wanna switch your career, eventually a uh, part way through your career you want to stop working in web you want to start working in something else javascript offers you a lot of versatility when it comes to it and it's a uh, programming language that is paid very well there's a lot of jobs for it it's a great great option when it comes to web development it's very valuable because it's one of those languages that allow you to make websites interactive which is hard to do if you're not using some cms if you don't know how to do javascript and you know learning javascript is one of those things that's going to allow you to add into interactivity to almost any site you build. It's almost indispensable. You could make a lot of money as a developer just learning WordPress, CSS, HTML, but JavaScript is really worth it. Number three, PHP. PHP is really good because the majority of websites on the internet run on PHP in one way or, or another. And a lot of these websites are WordPress. Most of the jobs you can get as a freelance developer are going to be people who want WordPress sites or who have WordPress sites and want you to do websites update on it. And oftentimes, if you don't know PHP, there's going to be some modifications that they ask you to do that maybe you don't know how to do without learning PHP. And often it's frustrating when your only option is to convince your client to stop wanting the thing they want because you can't offer it. Number two, HTML, almost indispensable for any developer, although technically you could afford not to learn HTML and just learn like WordPress and CSS, but HTML, the thing is like every website basically is just a HTML code. Like your browser, what it does is it turns HTML code into visual elements. Uh, HTML is simple. HTML is uh, everywhere. If you don't learn it, you're going to be so limited as a developer. Uh, it, it goes without saying that you should learn HTML. Number one, CSS. CSS, the reason it's my top number one is because CSS, uh, it, it is not, you could be a developer without CSS. You could do WordPress without CSS, but whatever you're going to do, like it's going to be better if you learn CSS and uh, it, it's even more indispensable than, than HTML, because if you don't know HTML as a WordPress developer, it's kind of bad. If you don't know CSS as a WordPress developer or Shopify developer, it's even worse. So CSS, the most indispensable uh, thing when it comes to development, and the better you are at CSS, the better you can make uh, websites that look good and better you can make websites that are responsive, which means that they look good on uh, mobile and, des and desktop. Uh, and that's really important too these days, but mostly it's about making websites that look good at all, which is uh, indispensable these days because that's the most important part of your portfolio, making sure that your things look good so that clients uh, want to buy from you because basically clients are not tech people. They don't make buying decisions about whether which technology you're using because they don't know what the technologies are, what these words mean. It doesn't matter that you're writing like Django, CSS, like they, they don't understand any of that shit. And so the way you differentiate yourself in the eyes of the clients is just by making things that look better. But even with the right programming languages, a lot of new developers struggle to find jobs on Upwork. So if you want to have success on Upwork, the next thing you should do is watch my video on why your Upwork profile is not getting views. With that, I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in my next videos. Take care.